Hey there fellow marketers, Professor Walters here and today we're in Parc Monceau in Paris, France. And today we're going to talk about is actually situational features that affect consumer behavior. I mean, think about all the things that influence you when you buy things. I mean, I'm here on this glorious day, right? So it's not raining, I don't have to worry about it. But what if I'm here and it's a pouring down rain kind of day? Yes, that's going to influence my shopping, right? Because I'm going to buy an umbrella, I might buy a coat or something like that. Or when you're out on a hot day in the summertime, you're like, you know what? I don't usually buy bottled water, but I'm gonna today because, oh my gosh, it's really, really hot. So there's these physical features out there that can really influence people's actually consumer behavior. And the thing is that physical environment isn't just like the rain and the sun. It also could be the physical environment in the store you go to. Because if you go into a store that how it's set up makes you feel more comfortable shopping, makes you feel more comfortable and laid back, you're going to spend more time walking through the aisles. I mean, think about it. If you're in the U.S. and you go to Target, you go there and it's there's a joke in the U.S. You go to Target to get a pack of gum, you walk out with $150 worth of stuff and you forgot the gum because you feel so comfortable in that environment. So stores will go and do that. Maybe they have you know slower music or maybe they have more staff that make it easier for you or a more you know pleasing setting. Other places they might want people to go through faster so maybe they have faster music, louder music, maybe they have brighter lights so people are like I don't want to stay here too long and it inspires them to go. So those kind of things can influence your consumer purchasing. Now another thing to think about when you're looking at situational factors that influence consumer behavior are social factors. I mean, think about it. Have you ever bought something to try to impress someone? Like, I'm gonna make sure I get the nicest quarters zip possible from Walter's World to impress my wife that I look so good. I mean, you do have those kind of things. Like, look, I'm gonna to go to an interview. I wanna make sure I look professional. That will influence me as well, right? Another thing that's gonna influence you in terms of your situation is your timing. I mean, I know for me, I teach class after class after class, so I don't have a lot of time to go find a great place for lunch. So the only thing I do is I actually call the same, you know, sandwich shop all the time and get them to deliver my food because it's the only thing they can get there in my 10 minute window I have free. And so you kind of have these things and you're like, wait, if I don't have a lot of time, that's going to influence me. If I have more time, oh, well, things can change. For example, if you're looking at a vacation, if you only have a weekend off, you're not going to fly the U.S. to Thailand because it's just too long of a flight. You're going to spend all that time on the international date line. I mean, you're going to have four days in a plane and three days there not really worth it. But if you're going to go from the U.S. to France for a week like here, you can do that because you leave Friday after work, you get in Saturday morning, and then you can stay the whole week and you fly back on Sunday and you get back in the U.S. on Sunday. So that's going to influence you by the amount of time you have. Now another situational feature that can influence consumer behavior is what we call task features. What am I buying this thing for? Now for example, if I'm going to be buying my wife a gift because it's a Tuesday, I'll get her some flowers. But if it's her birthday, I'm going to get her something nice. If if it's our anniversary, I'm going to do something nice. If it's, if it's you know, Christmas, I'm going to do something even nicer, right? Those kind of things you're going to spend more money for. That's why you'll see that all those stores that have the wedding lists and wedding registries, they have all those expensive gifts because normally what's the most expensive thing you get your buddy? A beer, maybe a shot, you know, five buck beer, $10 shot, maybe, right? But you'll get them a $200 place setting because it's their wedding. So that will influence your consumer behavior. Now, another thing that might look in there is just your current condition. How do you feel today? I mean, think about it. Ever bought something because you were happy or bought something because you were sad? Yes, these kind of things, that does influence people. Because the consumer's temporal state of mind does have a big impact. That's why, you know, at the checkout, they have the candy there because it's kind of like, well, I'm just waiting here, I'm waiting here, and I'm just like, I want to get out of here, and I don't want to feel like I'm wasting time in the line so I'll look at the People magazine I'll look at the National Enquirer maybe I'll grab that Twix or something like that because it's not your state of mind right there and that's why we know that in terms of how people think really influences how they buy now other things that might influence you is actually your culture I mean think about it in terms of how people shop for example shopping for food here in France, okay, the culture is you have a smaller apartment here in Paris, right? With a small refrigerator. So you're only buying food for today and maybe tomorrow. So therefore it's gonna be very different how you shop than in the US where you have a huge refrigerator, you got your big car, and you, dri you drive out to the big box store and get all that stuff. That's gonna influence you because the culture's a bit different. And the thing is there's the overall culture in a country. And there's also subcultures underneath. You know, for example, if, you are, if you're a Greek Orthodox, you have, instead of getting every color of egg at Easter, they only do red eggs at Easter and they break the eggs together. 
It's just a different way you buy, but this subculture. And of course you also have, like I talked about before, those social factors, some more social influences out there. You might have your family kind of stuff. Like look, when I buy, I'm not just buying for me, I'm buying for me, my wife and my two kids. But also you'll notice, when you get older, you start to realize you're turning into your parents because how your parents shop will influence how you shop. Now, other things that can influence it, maybe your social groups you're with, your friends. I mean, how many people, I mean, your all your friends have a Walters World Court of Shouldn't you get one too? I mean, think about the junior high. You got the same clothes your buddies did because that's how it works. And that kind of goes into what I think is one of the really important kind of influences that are out there. And that's actually your personal influence. I mean, think about it. Your lifestyle has a big influence. Influence. You know, if we make jokes about hipsters, right? Well, they got the flannel, they've got the beard and the man bun, and they drink craft beer. Oh my God. Um, anyway, um, you know, there's certain things that kind of go along with that, right? If you're if you're a geek, you know, if you're 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 a cosplay kind of person, there's certain things you're buying and you're you're ordering and you're shopping for. So there are those kind of things you got to think about. Also, you look at the stage of your life. I mean, my purchasing versus my students purchasing. I mean. I'm old and I've got kids and they're young kids and I got a wife, so what am I buying? I'm buying life insurance, I'm buying college you know, tuition stuff, putting money there, I'm buying Star Wars toys and Marvel toys and stuff like that. My, that's my purchasing stuff. Me, have you ever noticed I'm wearing the same clothes in all the videos for like the last five or six years? Yeah, because I don't have money for me and my clothes, I buy my stuff for my kids, right? Because that's what I'm purchasing. If you're 20 something, what, what are you buying then? You're buying different stuff. You're getting your Coachella tickets, you're getting your Burning Man stuff. You're going to those things because that's what you're spending your money on. So that's gonna be a different situational factor that will affect you. Now another thing you might wanna think about is also, which kind of goes with the age thing in a way, is your income and financial situation. I mean, that's why they have a show, you know, Lottery Dream Homes. So all of a sudden these people have a lot of money and they can buy a house they never could afford before because income does influence things. That's why, I mean, in Argentina, they have gnocchis like on the 28th or 29th of every month because it's a really cheap food and people don't have a lot of money at the end of the month, historically speaking. And so they would have gnocchis, that really cheap thing at the end of the month because they knew on the first of the month, hey, it's payday. I can actually go and buy some new food and buy some nice stuff. But at the end of the month, I don't have that kind of money. So your financial situation will influence things. And then of course, you can look at the old psychological motivations or the psychological factors that are out there that FOMO fear of missing out I can't tell you how many of my students have been on trips with me they're like Mark if I have a day free on our trip could I go down to Rome and Florence and Siena all in like one day because I don't want to miss it when I'm here I have a fear of missing out while here I want to make sure I don't miss out on anything well the thing is, is companies know that and they can use that against you well if you're coming to Italy you might as well go see this as well well you're here in Paris you might as well go up the Eiffel Tower and go to the Louvre and the Lorangerie and Musée d'Orsay and head up to Versailles and go to Fontainebleau and la 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 and then just add more because you don't want to miss out because there's a lot of psychological things that really do influence people's consumer behavior so you might look at it in terms of the motivations people have like what's motivating me to purchase okay why am I buying a ticket to Paris again well I want to come here because because I know I can have a good relaxing time with my family. We know the neighborhoods here very well. It's like a second home for us. So that motivates me to come back to Paris, right? Also, you might look at how your beliefs will influence you. For example, we were in Iceland a couple years ago and they had whale and puffin on the menu. And the thing is, we had just seen the whales, you know, jumping out of the water and stuff like that. And we'd just been to a puffin rescue place. And I just, I couldn't bring myself to eat them because I was just saving them, right? And so you have your beliefs that will influence your purchasing. And that kind of goes along with your perceptions and attitudes you have about different things. I won't buy from this company or I will buy from this company. I mean, how many people have sworn off a company because of something they did. You kind of think about those things. And the last thing I want to talk about in terms of things or situational factors that can influence consumer behavior is learning. Customers can learn. I mean, I know for me, I'm not going to buy a TV on the Black Friday deals after Thanksgiving in the US because it's too crazy there. I'm gonna wait to the Super Bowl because that's when they have great prices on TV. I've learned that that's the best time to buy. When I wanna get a new computer, well, I'm gonna probably look at those back to school sales and try to get something there. Or well, I know that, look, if I wanna come on a cheap fare to Paris, I'm gonna come in October when the flights are half the prices they are in the summer. I've learned that over time. And so as customers learn how to shop and learn about these things, it influences how they buy, okay? So I hope this helps you know a little bit more about some of the situational factors that influence consumer behavior. If you wanna learn more, hit that subscribe button. We put out all kinds of marketing videos all the time to help out other 
fellow marketers, consumers, buyers, sellers, all out there. And I'll say au revoir from here in Paris.